I'm going to blow through this tube, and when I do that, air goes through here, hits the funnel. It's going to be moving quickly at the bottom of the funnel, but as it moves towards the top of the funnel, it's going to slow down. And it does that because the, the cross section gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The same amount of air that was going through here is going through here. And so as a consequence, it's going to be moving more slowly. The force that actually makes it slow down is pressure. The atmospheric pressure is higher than the pressure down here. So as the air moves out, it's moving from a region of low pressure to a region of high pressure. And the pressure is established by the moving air, but it's what causes the acceleration of the air. So the air goes through, moving fast, moving slow, I end up with low pressure and high pressure. And you can show this dramatically this way. If I blow through the tube, I can push the ball around with it. I'm going to blow through the tube, but that set the tube on top of the ball. And it actually picks it up. If the ball is held like this, no matter how hard I blow into the tube, the ball won't come out. Now I can show this more dramatically if I use a bigger blower and a bigger tube. This is a child's playground funnel. They use this to like cone off areas of a playground. We cut a hole in the top and into it I inserted this, um, it's a computer basically duster. What it does is it blows a hard stream of air at your computer keyboard, cleans it off. The easiest for cleaning electronics, this particular one is from Metro. Now if I take this thing and it's blowing air out, it's going to push this ball around like crazy. But if the ball gets close enough to the funnel, it stops being pushed out and starts being pulled in. And it's actually held in. It's held in with enough force that if I take a little ball and I put it on the table, and this one's attached to a little stuffed animal. Holding with enough force to actually lift this off the ground. And the force is provided by the pressure. And the pressure is what slows the air down as it goes from moving very quickly to moving a little bit more slowly at the end of the tube. 